Right. Hi guys, Todd here, vlog time. And I'm really high here, I'm really high. Um, a new chair, but it's like a foot taller than the last one. Um, right, just had my dinner, just in from work, Thursday night, record the vlog, get it uploaded, live on Friday, jobs are good in. Notes? I have no notes. Um, I'm totally unorganised and unprepared. Uh, so, let's just waffle on. Um, that would be a new thing. Uh, oh, Ruby Roos reviewed the Petri. Uh, I'll have to go and watch that. Uh, oh. <laughs> Quick reply on Facebook there. Actually, I'll uh, put Facebook on and, and all that jazz on mute. There we go. Right. This week, I have mostly been vaping with... Oh, the, the Nuki. Um, this, I've been mostly vaping with the Nuki this week. Uh, I wasn't sure how to get it to bits, so I got in contact with the guys today and uh, they explained how it should be taken to bits. And you can, you can get this big bolts, I mean, big thick bolts run right down here. And uh, you can get the 510 right off, you can get in, you can dismantle it. So it's, it's, it's a good bit of kit really like this uh, so that review will be coming um, I, I've been kicking the ass out of the the cool fire for it's a strange one this right that, that I think I've said this before uh, the cool fire 4 I mean really in the grand scheme of things I should be saying no because uh, it's only 2000 milliamp hour uh, yeah and, and there's other stuff out there, but the strange thing is that it feels you know you've got all these laddie da mods, you know, C frames and all this kind of stuff and posh and fancy. Well, this feels like a wee posh and fancy. It, it, it's it's it feels it's been designed. You know, there's a, a design going on with it. It doesn't just look like a a box with a battery in it. It's 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 got something going on. Um, which I really like about it, so I have been enjoying this, and I still rate the G Tank very highly. Had that using that today as well. Um, right, so that's that's a couple of things out. Uh, shout out to uh, a new company. Uh, these guys. They've sent me some uh, wraps on for various uh, mods. I've got one for the SX Mini M Class, which I will be putting on. Uh, got that nice rust one. Look at it, you see that? That's quite smart. That I might put that one on. Uh, and I've got one for the vapor flask here, which I'll put on. Uh, so. I've got to say, I, I do, I do really like the packaging and the, you know, all the instructions and that. That that's quite nicely done. Uh, so thank you to uh, zapwraps.co.uk. Um, I'll show you when I do the M class video. I'll show you how I get on putting them on. Um, what else? Might as well show you this just now. This is a dirty. Clean ish uh, Snow Wolf 200. Uh, now, this is a dual 18650. Uh, temperature control, uh, temperature limiting, however, I want to put it. And let's like say it goes up to 200 watts. It's it feels just like a variant. Yeah, that's what it feels like. It just feels like one. Uh, it's got that same kind of well eye. If you've seen a variant, you'll you'll know what I'm getting at. Um, now, <laughs> here we go. What have I got in here? Right. My build there, because I know everybody's been getting on at me. Um, 
this is the velocity which I've been using all week. Um, that's 0.5 canthal. Uh, I think it's eight wraps of 0.5 canthal um, on either side, and it's a 0.3 ohm coil. So this is it at uh, 40 watts, which yes, I have been using. <laughs> Um, and, and you know, it's, I, can, I can actually vape it quite nicely at 40 watts, no problem at all. No bother. Um, Ninety-eight watts. <laughs> There you go. Um, listen, this thing does. Uh, I, I, I'm. I've not put it on a scope or anything like that. I think this is going to be about ninety pounds from uh, Innovapor. Is it Innovapor or Innovapors? I, I can never remember. That uh, in. Make sure I got the right company here. Yeah. Um, Innovapors. Uh, the proper spelling, uh, .co.uk, uh, and this is going to be about the £90 mark. It's pulse width modulation when you go over 150 watts. <laughs> um, and the temperature control seems to be working. There's a, there's a couple of little niggles with it, but for £90, so, so far from using it and how far I've used it, I've not tested it, tested it. I've just been mucking about. Um, This is a, a, a bit of a, a bit of a beast. Um, I don't know how I feel about this 200 watt. I mean, like 200 watts and two 18650s. Don't know. Don't know. That's 60 watts and a 0.3 ohm coil, and and I can just manage that and no more. Uh, so that's the Snow Wolf uh, 200 sent on by Inno Vapors. Really enjoying it. Really enjoying it. Um, right. Uh, that's the box that came in. Um, uh, the Minion. We'll go back and I, I put the review up for the Minion. Is that camera just falling a little bit when I turned my back there? I think it did. There we go. That'll do. Um, listen, I, I am... Make this quite clear, right? Um, the finish on it. Now, um, I said in the review that it's you know it's aluminium, it's polished aluminium, and polished aluminium is a total pain in the tits to keep fresh. Uh, it, you know, it, it ages with you if you like. Um, you know, it just picks up little surface scratches and things like that. Polished aluminium is like that. There's no getting away from it. Um, they have been posted on my Facebook page and there was a couple of comments about the the mini USB uh, basically saying they used the mini USB because of, you know, restrictions in space and things like that. And, uh, you know, you do have venting round about the mini USB as well. Uh, they have been... I will commend them on the way they've been uh, dealing with it. You know, they, they have been answering people's comments and stuff like that. Uh, you know, a lot of folk have been having a go at it and saying it's this, it's that, and they don't like it. You know, everybody's entitled to their own opinion. I don't have any hassle with that. I can only share it with you, show you it, and let you know what I personally think. And a lot of that is my taste. Uh, a lot of that is my taste. Uh, me, I still... Do you know... It is just a quirky, quirky thing, and and I and I think I just like it because of that. Not just because of that, but I, I do like it. You'd have to be a bit twisted like me though to to actually want one. Nah, it's good. Speaking of DNA forties, uh, I was talking to uh, <laughs> Rob. Nearly went there uh, from Stealth Vape. Uh, I'm going to order a couple of DNA40 boards from them because 
I want to put a, a DNA 40 into my Pippo by Cloudmaker. Um, Listen, the DNA 30 is, you know, I always, I like the DNA 30, but it, it's got this horrible habit of, you, you know, you're, you're vaping away on it, and, and it's a fresh battery, or it's only a couple of hours old, you're vaping away, and then wham, boom, it just says low battery. Uh, measure the battery, it's 3.7, 3.8 volts, and it's still saying low battery. Take it out, put it back in, it's fine again. And it just bugs me. Uh, so, I'm going to upgrade this. Um, I've not really shown you this, I've not done a review on it, I'm, I am going to have to do a sit down session and just show you the things that I love and I've not even reviewed them because they're kind of mine. Um, Oi, what are you up to? Um, but like I've said this before, I just really like this because it's, I know that it was the reclaimed wood and yeah I can see little gaps of sunlight through it and it, it's just it's got that hand built thing going on to it almost that just feels a bit rough around the edges but that's what I love about it I absolutely adore this little thing uh, I'm also going to upgrade my uh, my Chang box now you can still find this guy on uh, Facebook chat. Now I never reviewed this because he sent it on to me and when he sent it on to me uh, I actually only I didn't know but when he sent it on he'd actually used a, a clone DNA for DNA 30 board um, so it never actually got a review but which was quite a shame because he'd done a really really good job of building it uh, a really good job of building that I was always impressed with it and, it, and it's a beautiful, beautiful little box. Uh, have I got a battery in there? Oh, I've got a battery in there but it's dead. Um, I like to use this, I do like to use this quite a lot. But that's, that's what I'm, I'm feeling confident that I can upgrade these, I can slap a couple of DNA 40 boards in these things. Uh, I must admit I'm feeling a bit uh, not so confident about doing this one because this 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 one looks a bit difficult. I'll wait and see. I'll wait and see. Um, uh, right. So that's that's that. Right. What's in the that's in the the mug? The mug's got coffee in it. Keep on tooting. Um, I'm sorry pal, I can't reach you down there. Oh, I've got a bag, my work bag, I've not even emptied it yet. Uh, shameless promotion, oh, Mark, there's a guy called Mark, uh, comes into the shop. Um, I gave him a MVP Pro 60 watt one. Um, because he has an e-grip, but he's always asking about mods, and he's a nice guy, so I thought I'd just give him the 60 watt. So he came back the next day with a a big coffee in one of these. So thank you, Mark, if you see this. I really appreciate that, buddy. Um, uh, right, what's in the box? What's in the bag? Uh, I do have stuff in here that I should be discussing, I think. No. This is really weird being up so high. Um, right, what have we got in here? Oh, Milkman. This is selling like crazy at work. Uh, it's selling like crazy. Um, you know, if you're interested in this Milkman stuff, just remember that it's, it's you know, 99% VG. So you're not going to stick this in your little C5 or anything, because it just will not wick this. This is thick, thick stuff. Uh, but I do enjoy it. I really enjoy it. Um, and of course, what else have I been vaping? Trip Hammer. Love my cream tea. Um, what else is in here? Oh, um, I sold uh, a whole. I sold all my Senyo gear uh, to Will. Um, 
Will's a nice guy. Uh, but he came in and uh, he says, are these any use to you? Little squonking bottles. Uh, six little plastic bottles. So chuffed to get them. Wasn't expecting them. Uh, and they're just, so that's all convert them into, I don't know, I think they're only about three mil or something like that, maybe, five, maybe, I don't know, but uh, I'll do something with them, so Will, thank you very much buddy. So that's that corner of the bag, um, what's in this corner of the bag, nothing, right, we'll discuss what's just come out there, which is, <laughs> uh, Matt from m-vapes.co.uk got in touch with me a while ago to say he was going to be building his own wooden mod it's going to be a Joule 18650 parallel so it arrived today in this box those of you that know m-vapes he's been posting on um, Planet of the Vapes and stuff like that and his own website um, he's been posting updates of his build and whatnot. now like I said this is completely built by himself so here it is. This is a pine one, okay? So that's Jewel 18650. And on top of there I've got um the freak show, the mini, mini freak show with a chuff cap. Uh these just arrived from uh Wutufu. Wutufu! Um so the whole top cap should come off. Um Oh, does that push out as well? I don't know if that pushes out. I don't know, but that that, that arrived. Uh, so, yeah, I know there's some people that, uh, you know, complained about the, the Mini not having a chuff gap, but, uh, so there you go. Anyway, the, the mat from Mod. The mat from Mod? The Mod from Matt. Cloud chasers. Uh, right. I'm going to take the back. Right. There it is inside. Can you see inside there? Now. This is this is an incredible wee thing. Now, that's all. Look at that. So, this is all foam. So you push your batteries in, and the compresses in the foam. And your your plate here makes contact with the you know the bottom of the five ten pin, uh, and you've got your big plate down here. It comes up and it's do you know it's it's as simple as the gate. I mean the button. All the button does is you push the button and it makes this plate makes contact with this little bit that's bent out here. Now, I'll, I'll I'll say this just now. I'll, I'll I will say this just now. When this arrived, I didn't know how much it cost. And then when I went on to, I spoke to Matt, asked him, uh, and I saw on the site uh, it was a hundred and ten pounds. Um, he's now dropping that price down to ninety pounds delivered to your door. Uh, now. When I do the review, and I know this is going to happen, there's going to be a pile of people going, uh, it's just a bit of metal bent into shape, uh, and it's a little box that anybody could build in their spare time. As always, here's my standard response. If you think you can do better, go out and do it yourself. Uh, it's as simple as that. Go and do it yourself. If you think you're that good, um, just, yeah, look forward to seeing your mod line. Um, my one doesn't have a serial number on it. They'll come with serial numbers on them. Uh, I am... I've been using this a lot today. And it performs very, very well. It does kick like a little mule. Um, yes, I did just say that. Um, but, you know, when it came presented like that, it's just... I, I, listen, I, I've got to be honest, I'm quite taken with it. And I think for... Well, here's the thing. Address this. Right. If you were going to start building mods and you had to spend four or five hours of your time building it, 
how much do you value your time at? You know, you're only going to be making these limited numbers, a couple a day, that kind of thing. You know, you've got to value your own time. Um, then you've got all the parts and all that kind of jazz. and uh, that's, I like it. I like it the way it performs. As far as the review goes, well, I'll, I'll get to that um, and we'll discuss it. Um, what am I looking for here? I'm looking for something to put the, my little freak show on because I'm really enjoying this little freak show. Thirty watts. <laughs> oh Jesus! Uh, right, what else is in the bag? Uh, well, some stuff arrived. Other stuff arrived from a waterfall. Um, they sent me on some mechanical mods. Uh, now, oh, that's a copper one. That's a black one. Oh, I didn't know they were doing all different colours. And this is a stainless steel one. Called it the Phantom. Now, it does come beautifully presented. It comes with a really thick cloth for cleaning. Uh, little card with a row. I mean, look. I don't know, this is maybe in China, this is somebody's idea of cool uh, and it comes in a that kind of setup. Um, I had a quick look at work. Well, I, I, I didn't. Ross opened it for me, my boss. He, uh, he opened it for me, didn't you, Ross? You're funny. <laughs> Said I was going to say that. <laughs> He's a good lad. A good lad. Right, let's let's uh is this just uh it's a single eighteen six fifty by the looks of it. Yes it is. So let's uh stick one of the See, I'm away here, I'm away, I'm sorry, I'll be back. It's got this little uh flat top cap that goes on it. Uh, let's see what happens here. So there we go, there's the Phantom. Wait for it. It's got this on the bottom. I don't know about that. I don't know. I think that's a bit uh, garish. Is that what I'm looking for? The word? Hell of a long throw in it. Hmm. Form's not bad. Anyway, so that's the Phantom that's arrived from Waterfall. Um, so there's a couple more of them. Oh, um, if you see my Facebook, you'll have seen this. There's uh, Raymond from Spartan Mods I asked him to to make me a a new one of these, but with a stainless steel base instead of the brass one. Really, like, I'll, I'll, really, I'm kind of smitten with it, th this drip tip. It's just cool in a non childish kind of way. Uh, right, that's it for the bag, I think. Actually, I'll tell you what, I'll, I'll tell you what, I've not done. I've not done it because they sent it on to me without asking me if I wanted to review it, so. Uh, I'll, I'll have to be honest, I don't, I do not, if people send stuff on to me without asking me first, I do not feel duty bound to review it, Um because it'd be nice if you asked first, I do have a life, and you know, I do have other people that are nice enough to get in touch, and anyway, waffle. The Coil Master Kit, now I've been using this for a, a few weeks now, um, and there's pre plenty of reviews out there, and you know, it's that's the kit there. So you've got the coil master kit down in the bottom there, you know, for coiling. You've got this little ducat for holding bits in, you've got this little ducat for checking your resistance, wire cutters, needle nose pliers, ceramic tweezers and, and other bits and bobs. Now, how do 
how have I been getting on with it? This, this is what I can tell you from using it daily at my work. It's a good kit. It is a good kit. Um, the screwdriver, mm, a bit pants, to be perfectly honest. Uh, I mean, it's got Coilmaster written on it, and you've got all these spare heads in there. Uh, but it's cheap. It's cheap. It's cheap shit, basically. This this thing. Um, it's all right for undoing little screws and things like that. But if you put any power behind it, they just they just twist and bend, uh, which is a shame. The the scissors are a bit on the you know, kind of thing you would give to primary one kids so they don't cut themselves. Uh, they're a bit naff. Uh, I wasn't that impressed with the scissors. Uh, and the wire cutters... Yeah, I've got a couple of pairs of these already. I mean, it only cost a pound out of the pound shop, but... Um, don't know how to put it. And it's bloody a pain in the arse to get some of the stuff out of it when it gets in there. Um, I do use it. I use it day in, day out. I do like using it. The bits that are in there do work. But to sum up, um, it really is a fancy case with some bits in it that you probably already have. If you want to buy a kit for somebody, then yeah, it's great for that. But if you have all these things already, stick it in a little box and you'll be just as, it'll do you just as well. That's it. Um, yeah, there you go. It's my review. Um, oh God, I'm getting a sword back here. Does this go up? Oh, this goes up. Oh, and it goes forward as well. Oh, awesome. Uh, right. For those of you that don't know, I got my record player this week. I've now got a record player and uh, little speakers over there. Thank you to everybody that gave me advice. Hello, wee man. I'm too high. You can't get up. No, you can't. <laughs> he says, why are we so high? Why are we so high? Ah. Uh, uh, yeah, I got my record player. Thank you to all those uh, elitist twats, uh, audiophile experts and all that jazz. <laughs> shouldn't say that. Sorry, guys. Uh, they gave me all the advice and whatnot. Um, it's not the best setup under the sun, but the way I figured it is, at the end of the day, I'm in a shed. You know, a shed. I'm, I'm not going to spend thousands on a record player, an amplifier and speakers just to listen to something in a shed. That would be silly. That would be like having lots of high-end mods in a shed. Yes. Uh, right, anyway. Um, I think I've kind of shown you everything that I have to show you. Uh, I was just thinking, I've got Ah, it's my cot, you little... Right, bad books. Drank my coffee. It was just at the perfect temperature there as well, and you drank my coffee. Not happy. Um, right, let's uh, chuck into the the emails and stuff like that and see what we've got going on. Um, Reviews-wise, what have I been watching and... Um, this week. Um, I've not actually watched, I, I watched um, Vaping with Twisted with SX Mini M Class in the IPV review. Um, Vaping Fagan, I watched his, uh, he had a quick look at the Snow Wolf box mod, so I watched to see what he thought of that. Um, I've not watched Vaping Vix Rose 2. Uh, dual coil build jet. Um, Polly Meatballs put up a video of the Cool Fire 4. I posted that on my Facebook page. 
uh, grim green with the Beef City Vapour. Um, <laughs> I think he got a bit of flack in that one because he was complaining about the gap. Um, anyway, that was... Basically, he was using a long 26650 battery, uh, quite a bit, of, you know, different lengths. Should all be the same, but slightly longer one he was using. And uh, the, the dripper that he was using had a really long 510 on it. So because of the setup of the, the BFM, it meant that he had a big gap. And that's just one of these things. Uh, that's just one of these things. Um, Damien, I didn't... I, watched, I started watching Damien's review on the, the BBDNA40 uh, from Bargevel Mods, but I just I won't, I didn't do it for... Don't like, not that fan of it. Not a fan of it. Uh, not that there was anything wrong with the, you know, the good-looking guy's review, as always. Um, and Suck My Mod had the velocity which I watched and agreed pretty much with whatever he said. Uh, and that's all I've been really watching. Um, is there anything else? Well, this is what I should start doing, is giving you update, updates on what I've reviewed recently. Um, the minion I talked about, the velocity, still, I really enjoy. Um, I'm still real, I've been using it every day. The Arquebus V2, uh, once again, utter bargain for the money. Um, utter bargain. The Mustang M1. My opinion hasn't changed in that one bit, no issues. Um, in fact, just going back, I've no updates to give you on anything because everything's continued working as described. Um, right, let's go into Facebook. Oh no, 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 I did. Right, rant. Uh, I have got, I did send myself a note at the start of the week. Uh, where did it go? Is it still recording? to check. Um, <laughs> I have these little, what should I, during the week I think, what should I talk about in my vlog and uh, so I send a quick email to myself. Uh, I keep sending them and that's how I decided to start keeping notes for the blogs, vlogs. Uh, and the only one I have this week is Kanger, new tank and mod, bastards for releasing new gear every two minutes. That's the only note I have this week. I hate Kanga for the, I hate, this is what, oh man. All, all these people that have, are, are, are sitting there with the K box, got the K box, they're vaping away with it and whatnot. They're thinking, oh awesome, I've got a K box. Two minutes later, Kanga have come out with a new bit of gear. And when they've announced that new bit of gear, they also announced another new bit of gear. So when you get that new bit of gear, they'll announce another new bit of gear. It's like bloody hell. It's like, uh, just, you know, design a product, design it to its best and release it and, and let folk use it. It's like, I don't know. I'm not going off on one in this one. But it really annoys me. It, well, it doesn't annoy me, but it, it bugs me. I feel for people. Uh, I do feel for people in that. Um, somebody's left a comment on my unknown, has left a new comment on the Minion Tech by Tech, the Minion review. Could that squonk extension be used in a mechanical tube mod? Yes, it could. Quite easily. You could use that. So I can delete that. Um, as far as Facebook goes, I have nothing really to mention there. I haven't upset anybody recently. Um, mech mods. Breaks my heart. Breaks my bloody heart. Please, 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 please. Let fashion come back round to mech mods again. Mech mods are beautiful. There are so many good mech mods. Don't let them rust. Don't let them fall to bits and cupboards and things like that. Somebody design a, a, 
a module for a mech mod that means you can do 30, 40 watts in it and whatnot. Um, it's, it's so sad. Why am I saying that? I mean, I don't know. I've got mech mods here that I love with a passion. I really do. Um, I mean, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12, 12. There's about 20 in front of me here, okay? Um, and they're just awesome, absolutely awesome bits of gear. But because it's not a box, because it's not regulated, because it doesn't put out 3000 kilowatts, nobody's interested in them. And I, I really do hope that fashion change and it comes back round. Anyway, that's I was just off in one there. That was shut up, yeah. twat. Um, same with Genesis. I mean, that's um, Genesis atomizers. I was using my uh, Chimera Jenny this week, and I, oh man, it's been a while since I've, I've set up you know one of my Genesis atomizers. Uh, I mean, I've got. I've got five, I think, Genesis Atomizers. Uh, five. I've got five ones that I, re for me, I always thought were the best or they were handmade or something like that. Um, and it is quite scary the when you take a vaping one, that tight air flow, and, and it's just the flavour. It's just can be stunning. can be absolutely stunning. Um, anyway, I am... Waffling shit. Uh, reviews that are coming up soon. Um, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Don't do it, Todd. Don't want to see. Oh, right. Uh, I'd see, I've got. Fa um, uh, clarify this again. Please, please, please do not be offended if you send me a Facebook message, you send me an email or anything like that and I don't respond to it straight away or it takes me time to get to it because there's so much going on that I can't always keep up to date with it all and things slip through the cracks and so if I don't respond, just say, send me another message saying, why, you fat bastard, you know, why haven't you replied to me? Um, Right, um, that's me. Oh no, where was I going? I was going. <laughs> uh, let's go talk about the M class. I was talking to um, Thomas in the shop today about the M class, and uh, I, I, I'm really oh, that review I'm going to struggle with because it just works. It does. It just works. And it does exactly what it says it should do. And, and it performs like I would like it to. And and, and it feels like a, a real high-end bit of gear. It's really, really good. It's really good. Um, is it any better? I don't... I, yeah, I don't even, I'm even holding it and what, I don't even have much to say to you about it because there's been so many reviews already. I mean, temperature control works great and all that jazz. Um, I, I just, it's kind of like a Volvo. No offence to Volvo owners out there, but, uh, you know, well, old, well, not even old Volvos because there's some, some really sexy Volvos. I mean, P1800. Uh, anyway, um, it's kind of like, before the British touring cars, uh, you know, Volvos were always boxy and boring and type, that kind of stuff, uh, and kind of soulless, you know, there wasn't anything to them, uh, and that's what the M-Class feels to me, it's like, it's just, it just works, you know, it just works, does exactly what it's supposed to do, and, and that's it. Yeah. I should really take up reviewing. I'm really good at this. Eh? No. Um, right. Google Calendar. Let's have a gander. Um, 
Right, uh, I've got a pile this weekend. I've got a Beyond Vape rebuildable dripping atomizers. I've got three of them to review. I'm going to do them in one go because uh, I'm feeling rather lazy. Uh, I've got the, oh, well, I'm not looking forward to that one. The Danny uh, die codes. I've got that to do. Uh, next week, I've got the Nuki. Nuki. Uh, then the M class, the Verit Veritech, no idea what that is, the Duff Poo, uh, and the Limitless, which has disappeared. I'm actually going to delete that because I've no idea where that went to. Um, who's Veritech? I've no idea who that is either. I've um, got the Half Moon ST1 mechanical mod, uh, the Bakeroo V2 is coming, the Mirage. Um, why is that Nuki Vape Breed appeared down there as well? That's up there. Oh, I can delete that as well then. Woohoo! Uh, yeah, lots of stuff going on. Woohoo! Um, that's me. Uh, I've got this stuff scheduled in, uh, but I, I might, uh, I've, I don't know. I've got work I need to do around the house and I'm... Um, this is how bad it is, this is how bad it is. I told you about that uh, utility room, kitchen cabinet stuff I was supposed to put in and, and worktops and things like that. I've still not done it. <clears throat> um, and, and you know I have like, we have a set date night every Wednesday night where you know there's no internet or, or shit like that, you know, it's just us, you know, uh, no distractions, we just go on a date, go out for a meal or drink and that kind of stuff, it's great. Karen actually said to me yesterday, Wednesday morning, she says, you know how it's date night? I says, yeah. She says, do you fancy starting work in the, you know, the utility room instead? Well, just, that that's what I would like for my date night. I'm like, <laughs> oh. So I'm feeling quite bad about that, so I, I'm going to have to start. Something's got to give, and I'm really sorry, but uh, when it comes to the, the priorities, there's, there's, uh, you know, there's Karen, TJ, work, vaping. Yeah, that, I think that's the order. I'll tell you the real order another time. Uh, anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Uh, I can't even, I don't even know how long I've been waffling on for. If <sighs> Just kind of boring this week. I think it was. I can really see, do you know what's really good? I can sit up high so I can see over the monitors and I can see out the window. So all you people that watch my reviews and go, I wish you'd stop looking out that feckin' window. Boring bastard. Well now I can really see out the window. So the next review is just going to be so boring because I'll just be sitting looking out this window. Um, right, time to go. Nothing else to say. Um, now you're going to look behind me. Um, Uh, and I'll get round to that squonker at some point. <laughs> oh well, I'm going to build it. I don't know when. Oh God. Guys, we'll catch you next time. Have a great weekend and we'll catch up soon. Bye now. He's in his basket.